For this compound inequality problem, what we're going to want to do is separate it into two individual inequalities. And then what we're going to do is just start solving one of the sides. And we'll just start arbitrarily on the left. So we're just going to use algebra to get Q by itself in this one, starting by multiplying by the LCD. After that, it's just getting all the constants to one side, variables to the other, and then dividing by the 5 at the end there. Now Q is solved for on the left-hand side. Now we're going to move over to the right-hand side, subtract 2Q, and then Q is solved for. Now that they're both solved for, we're just going to evaluate what this AND statement means. And basically what it means is that you're going to take the two solution sets from each inequality and take the intersection of those two solution sets. And that's what you're about to see. And that's the answer.